Stardew Valley is one of my absolute favorite games of all time, and yesterday it had a pretty massive update that I've been really looking forward to, and because of this, it has kind of consumed my life for the last 24 hours. It is all I have been thinking about to the point where it's kind of spilling into my Sims gameplay as well. I just want to farm, and so I was thinking that I might build us a farm in The Sims. Don't worry if you don't play Stardew Valley, it, it doesn't matter, I'm making a Sims build. In fact, I kind of want to try a little farm challenge for this video. This is a big lot, it's 40 by 30, and you might be noticing that I only have 20,000 simoleons because I was thinking about trying to make a farm starter. I don't really know how possible this is, but kind of the goal here is to have a very small house, but I would also really like to have a fully functioning farm, so like cows, chickens, a horse. Again, not really sure how that's gonna go for us because just buying those things has already spent a lot of our money, and at this point the horse doesn't even have a stable or anything. And then I'd probably also want to get some planters so we can have a functioning farm where we're actually growing crops, and then, you know, it's- it is a tough ask to include all of these things in a starter home, but I think that we can do it. And if we have to get rid of the cow, that's fine. My main goal is just chickens and a horse, and these little planters are only 10 simoleons, so that's no problem either. When it comes to making these sorts of builds, I think it always helps me to make a small layout of the farm first. I think the house can be really simple like this and we'll put it kind of close to the front of the lot. Honestly, I might even have this be the full floor plan. I made it a little bit smaller even, but we're not really gonna have a lot of money to spend on the interior and the main goal of this is mostly exterior stuff, so it's gonna have to be kind of simple on the inside of the house. Imagine just one bedroom, one bathroom, the kitchen can go here in this nook, we've got a living room, and then it's kind of just done. The outside is a little boring looking, but maybe it's boring in like an old-timey small farmhouse sort of way, so it's not really a problem. I'm thinking I'll use a lot of the horse ranch pack on this, and I'm gonna go through really quickly and put all of the necessities inside of the house. If we just pay for things like the kitchen and the bed and the toilet, then we can kind of decorate around it. And thankfully, horse ranch has cheap beds. This one's only 300 and it looks cute. The horse ranch counters are actually pretty cheap as well, and we'll obviously use like the cheapest- oh, maybe not that one. <laughs> <laughs> the cheapest base game appliances, not the stinky city living ones. I'd love to use a fireplace. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I would really like to have one. I may use that door. I know it's kind of expensive, but it's just too cute to pass up. I might get like a simple base game door right there, because I'm thinking that maybe on this wall we could have a small dining table. Yeah, emphasis on small in this house. There's not really a lot of room. Some of these are so expensive. Do I dare even use that thing? I guess we could. I didn't really mean to use only horse ranch stuff everywhere, but if it works, it works. And don't worry, I am gonna come back and like reorganize this so it looks a little bit less ugly. I was just putting this all down like filler, basically. It's really good with starter homes to almost like plot out what you're going to use before you use it because then you know it's gonna work. And I guess a combination of horse ranch and cottage living is probably the main goal here. If I'm careful, we could maybe even only use horse ranch and cottage living in the entire build, which I hadn't really considered, but that might be a nice way to make this house more functional for more people. I don't think we'll need very many other packs, like the whole vibe is very much just horse and cottage. Now this is where I might be making a mistake. Like putting the shutters on, it looks cute, but it's um, it's a little pricey. I see, I guess you could say. <laughs> it really makes the windows so much more expensive than they need to be. But how good does it look to have these nice big windows with the big shutters? It makes it look so much more detailed. We also still have 8,000 simoleons, which isn't good, but it's not terrible either. Let me just pick some random wallpapers. I'm not planning on keeping these, okay? <laughs> I don't know what I want to use on the inside yet, so mostly I'm just painting this to have paid for paint, all right? Don't panic. It's not gonna look like this, I swear. It does look bad. <laughs> it looks really bad on the interior. I'm gonna fix it, I promise. And I really, really, really want to use a fence. I know that I probably shouldn't, but I really want to have a fence in the back. Oh my god, the fence is so expensive. I just spent like all of my money on that. I don't know if we can have a cow and a horse. <laughs> I don't know where the cow is gonna go. Serious question, can the cow and the horse just be in the same pasture? Like, is that fine? Maybe we don't do gates and we just open it in between the two spaces. <laughs> that does make one less thing that we have to pay for, so that's probably good. Okay, these things are so cheap, they barely count as paying for anything, so that's good. They're only 10 simoleons each, so we can get a bit of a garden back there. Then we're probably gonna wanna build a barn. I don't know if I should build an actual barn or if we should make, like, a covered stable. 
table. This is only 50, so if we really wanted to, we could probably have space for two horses. The big fence, unfortunately, is a little bit pricier, so we do have to think about that. Let me put a roof all the way across these two stables too, and then I can get rid of that. I think I wanna put some sort of little trim, kind of like right there. That leaves us with 5,000. Is that enough to finish the rest of the house? I could probably put the chickens over here too, because I'm gonna landscape. So we can put the chickens kind of like in this little area, and I guess they'll have free reign. The lot is big enough that we could probably get a horse jump too. This is only 90 simoleons. It is a little bit in the way of where the cow goes, which is probably not the best thing, but I don't think it should be an issue. I think that like gameplay wise, it'll be fine. Although we could maybe steal a little bit more space in the front. And you know what else? We could stop paying for part of this. Cause if I scoot that over enough, nobody can escape and we don't really need a fence back behind it. It's still clipping technically, but only the smallest little bit. So I'm not that worried. Okay, the outside layout is done. I think our next step is to go in and finish the interior. I'd still like to add a lot to the outside, but we probably should try and furnish the rest of the inside first before we get too far ahead of ourselves. I'm gonna have to get all those necessities like trash cans that I kind of forgot about too. Oh, and if you're seeing all these random men just outside, that is because I bulldozed their house to build this. This is Ian and Derek. They're married and they're some of the townies from Cottage Living. Normally I feel bad about bulldozing townies houses and I guess in this case I probably should feel bad because they had a way nicer house than this. The house they had was fancy and then I came in and bulldozed it to give them a little tiny starter home. I probably should not have gone into live mode because now my stuff has depressed appreciated, but it's okay. Unfortunately for these Sims, I do not think that I'll be giving them a TV. They are gonna have to make do with a slightly simpler living space, I think. There's honestly some really nice clutter from places like Cottage Living. We can put that on the wall here. I'd love to use this shelf, but I don't know if it's gonna fit. <laughs> oh, you know what we could try instead? I wonder if I swapped the cabinetry out. I could put those like that, and then maybe I could hang this up above the oven? Oh no. What if I only had that? Oh, what if we got like a tall cabinet? I don't know what the tall one from Horse Ranch looks like. Oh, we could probably do that though. I could put this here because that gives us some more storage and it makes the wall a little bit more interesting. I don't know if I've really done a combo like this in a starter home. I'm not really sure if it's good or bad. I cannot really tell, but it's, it's an idea. Oh, we should get some books from Cottage Living. That's honestly a huge help, those little books right there. Plus the bunnies are kind of cute, but then you at least have one more thing for your Sims to do. I like that little farm painting. I will include that. Honestly, for living rooms and a starter home, that's not even that bad. I might have gone a little bit overboard with the decorations. It has this kind of like dark bluey teal color happening with the beige. I might use this green one. How about that combo for the bedroom? Does that look okay together? This one's 425. This is 240. Maybe it's better to get this one and just put it there because it's a little bit bigger. And then I can get one more plant or something. That's a pretty decent layout for the living space. I think I'll leave it at that. Okay, so I did the interior. Now we have 2,600 to do all of the landscaping, but I don't think that should be a problem because I'm planning on doing debug landscaping. I might want to get rid of the foundation for that <laughs> so I can put the plants wherever I want. We're gonna break out the debug stuff and let's see what we can do with this because we know that Horse Ranch and Cottage Living have some of the best debug plants. I think I'm gonna start with Horse Ranch because they have some like low-lying plants that I want to use. Ooh, this might be nice because we could potentially use this to get some like pretty flowers somewhere. I don't know what I'm doing. I was thinking about putting like trees in pots, but <laughs> I should probably stop that. It might not hurt to get like a dirt driveway and put a car on it somehow. Oh, this thing's nice. I wonder if we could just put some like random stuff like that in the house. This is kind of random too, but I might put that outside and I'll put some plants around it. I do love these trail markers. I might put one of those somewhere in the front yard. And then I had been kind of picturing myself not using these, but using like these flowers. I actually didn't really think about these bushes. Ignore that it's clipping into the house, okay? I'm gonna put it on a foundation so you won't be able to tell. It's either this or this this. And I'm not really feeling, I don't know. I think that the big one, those are like originally from Jungle Adventure, I think. They've used them in a lot of packs now. I think that the bigger one is a little bit too much. Well, classic Simsy back in her overthinking era again. I'm kind of going through and like surrounding the house with these bushes first, knowing obviously that I'll go in later and add in some extra stuff and some little details to kind of split it all up. I might open up just a small little gate for us because then they can walk out from here and then I'll save some money on the fence. <laughs> 
<laughs> you hate to say it, but you do have to think about that. We do want to be saving money on fences here. We cannot really afford all of the fences that I did put already, so we have to be a little careful. If not for debug landscaping, I don't know what I would do. We'd have to be done. Like, the build would just be finished if we didn't have all this debug stuff to use. We'd get, like, two plants, and that would actually be it. Okay, I think I'm done with horse ranch debug. I'm gonna go look in cottage living now. I think that for the most part, I'd rather use the debug trees from cottage living. It also just kind of makes more sense for our purposes anyway, because obviously we're living in Henford on Bagley, so we want the trees to match the world in Henford on Bagley. It's hard with landscaping to mix and match debug from different packs, because you can kind of see here, the shades of green are very different, <laughs> which is a weird thing to point out, I know, but horse ranch kind of has like this yellow tone to it with everything, and the cottage living stuff is a lot more springy, almost. It's just a way brighter color. Okay, so there's kind of our starting point. I've layered a lot of the bushes in, and now I want to go through and put flowers around. I really like how these look when they're sized up. I know it might be a little bit excessive to size them up, okay? I can see that, okay? However, I think that it's a good in-between of like the yellowy horse ranch stuff and the springy cottage living stuff. And this is a big lot, so them being big helps to fill in a lot of that space. And we don't have to use them only big. We can kind of mix and match the size of them. Oh, I forgot about this section. Oh my god, it never ends. There's so many plants in this lot. Everywhere I look, there's more plants. All right, so we have all those yellow flowers in. What do I want to do next? I think I might get some of the base game debug now. I was gonna get some of the actual base game plants, and then I realized, oh, <laughs> I actually can't do that. I have to use debug to save money. I always kind of liked this bush. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. It matches the color scheme, and it's a different shape. So actually, that might even be perfect, because it gives us a little bit of variety without departing too much from the planned vibes. Oh my god, look, there's more bushes that I missed! There's more over here! How is that even possible? I literally put places for flowers everywhere on this lot and I didn't even realize it. Is that more? Oh my god. <laughs> There's even more bushes that I missed. It's never ending. They just keep showing up. Well, I hope you like this landscaping because I spent a long time doing it. <laughs> Imagine you're like, ooh, I hate this. And I just spent this much time working on it. And I guess now that I think about it, I probably should have put some bushes or something just a little bit back here. Cause this area behind the thing looks kind of weird. Maybe I could get another tree. Oh, I guess a taller tree. <laughs> just something, cause that way it's not randomly just like there. And then we also have to go in and add some of this horse ranch stuff. This you have to pay money for. So I'm kind of like bracing myself a little bit, but these are the horse ranch grasses and this is how we're gonna feed the horses. <laughs> so you'll want to get a bunch of this to like let it grow out and kind of around the, the yard. I don't love how it looks. <sighs> but I love how it functions, so I'll keep it. Maybe I should put some more of that just in the front. Can you force grow that any taller? No, okay, I'll leave it then. And maybe I put our little horse sign just there in the front. We can put our mailbox like right there in the front. I will put the whole place back up on the foundation again, which you can't even really see is there, but it is there, I swear it. You're gonna wanna delete the underside of the stairs. It's kinda hard to find it, but you save some money like that. I think I'll put the trash can right here in the middle because then it's easy access between where you are with your food trash and where the horses are with their poop. I would prefer for this to be brown like everything else is. Oh, I forgot about the bathroom. Oh my God, and there's like a random lady in there too. <laughs> I think she's here for the welcome wagon. I would really like to see if I can use the cottage living stuff because it is way cuter. The bathtub is pretty expensive. It's 735, but I do think that using the nicer bathroom things makes it look like 10 times better. It just looks more finished in this room now and I probably can't put anything else, so. <laughs> <laughs> we might just leave it like that. At least it's functional. Oh, look at the gallery photo. You can't even see any of the farm stuff because it's blocked by these trees. That's horrible. I'm kind of looking and trying to decide if there's any sorts of additional exterior things I might want to get. Because things like this with the horse clutter, that's useful. There might be some kind of scary bits of decor that we want to include. Oh wait, that's better. Hold on. The tapestry is so much nicer than this scary skull thing. I could still use the skull thing though. We do actually also have a couple of little kitchen clutter bits. So that might be nice to include. And then the kitchen is still functional because they can cook on this one. Oh, a chest. Would that be useful? Maybe not. Maybe I should stop. <laughs> oh wait, no, let's put the chest like over here because you could use that to store all your crops in. Do I dare put a chest table? I really, really want to. <laughs> 
<laughs> I would really like to have a chess table for your sims out here. It might be a bad idea. It could go in the back porch. It does fit there better, but that leaves us like very little room in the front. You know what they have in Horse Ranch is this really cute bench. We could probably put that here in the front. And then maybe last, we could get a couple of these little guys. And then those are undercover. So if you've got plants that you don't want to be affected seasonally, then you can just put them there. All right, now I'm going to start thinking about all of the landscaping and the terrain paint. Thankfully, this is also free so we can kind of go all out with this. I just wanted to wait and do it last because terrain paint sometimes deletes itself and I don't really have the patience or like the emotional bandwidth to deal with that happening to me. I cannot bring myself to do terrain paint twice. So I wait till the very end. We know that we're gonna want dirt under like pretty much all of these flowers that we've put down. And I was planning on doing some layering of the terrain paint here underneath this space. Cause I'm gonna wanna get dirt like where the chickens go. Can they even get out of there? Scoot it over a bit. It can come forward. I think that the layering of this kind of helps though. And then we can put all of this around there. I guess it just gives it some dimension when you look at it from afar. That's what I was planning on doing up here too. I was gonna, oh my God, let me get that smaller and lighter. But I like to do this with the two colors of dirt terrain paint to make paths where I kind of like layer them together. Sometimes it takes some practice. I think it looks better when it's like a small bit of dirt, but I like to try and do something with it to make it look a little bit more interesting. I don't know if I like this color of dirt anymore. <laughs> Again, with the overthinking though, I can't stop myself. I feel pretty confident about how it looks underneath the plants, but I'm not as confident about how to do it inside of these little stables. I guess I want dirt kind of all around it. I don't think that's that bad. And then I was kind of thinking about using some of the horse ranch dirt in these areas. I don't know if that's really all that realistic, but I want to do something to make them look like a full item that's kind of standing out. And maybe I can layer around that with some darker dirt on the outside too. Yeah, I think something like that just makes the whole place look a lot more finished. I actually cannot believe that it's only 20,000 simoleons. It's 19,469 for this full building. And you've got all of the animals in the game here. I think I'll go through now and grab a couple other last minute little pieces. Some things like debug hay bales or, or whatever, just like little bits that might make this yard space look a bit nicer. I did also put this little planter. I was thinking about putting a plant in it. I don't know what kind. Does that look so ridiculous? or is it kind of cool? It's actually kind of screaming ridiculous to me, but I don't know. It also has slight Florida energy. No, I'll pick something else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad idea. Oh, does that light up at night in kind of a strange way? Oh, here's a horse riding volume one. We don't have anything on this coffee table. You know what? I am thoroughly impressed by this build. I don't think it looks like a starter home at all. I think it looks like it's way more expensive. Once you get on the inside, you can kind of tell, and obviously it's quite small, but I think this is a really, really helpful starter home. I'm gonna call it the horse farm starter on the gallery. It's one bedroom, one bathroom. It costs 19,544 simoleons, and it's on a 40 by 30 lot. I don't usually build 40 by 30 starter homes either. This might be one of the better starters that I've ever built. I actually feel really good about this. And if you're looking to download it, it only uses horse ranch and cottage living, which actually was not that hard to achieve either. I think it doesn't look like a limited pack build. It it turned out really nice. It's not hard to do starter homes that are limited pack though, because you know, you can't really be putting in clutter. <laughs> so there's no need for kits and stuff. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like this house and you use it, let me know because I would love to see pictures of your Sims. The only things that I would change, I think, if I had a little bit more money, would be maybe to upgrade the stable section to be a little bit nicer. I'd probably like to have some dormers or something, and maybe like a TV or a computer, just some kind of electronic, because we don't have any of that right now. But you've got plenty of other stuff to be dealing with, so you don't need to be like playing on the computer with your Sims. <laughs> you got loads to worry about in this house. Also, in the comments, tell me, how many of you are fans of Stardew Valley also? I know that there's kind of a big overlap between the Sims and Stardew fans, but if you haven't given it a try, you might like it. I'm literally wearing a Stardew Valley chicken shirt right now. <laughs> I bought this from Nook's Needles on Etsy. It's so cute. And I'm recording this right before the update comes out in real life. It's out now for you, but not for me. So I'm gonna go so I can go play it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I've literally been counting down the days until this. I'm serious. I'm so excited.